Silva. So we've started from part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, we're in part six. So I'm going to show you how to use the abstract application and using Pentatonic scale on other sound. This is just like a synth. So understand? So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you that. And also at the end of this video, there's going to be something called practice time. Yeah. So practice time. So you have the loop I'm using right now. You to, it's going to play for two minutes for you to do your own rehearsal. So make sure you watch to the end of this video. So let's go. So I've shown all this in my previous video. And I did this. So all you have to do is to look for a synth sound. So the name of the synth sound I'm using is called, oh, let me check the synth sound. So this is called mono synth. So I'm going to show you right away. It's called mono synth. So any synth sound you can use is cool. I'm just trying to show you, show you how, I've shown you how to use pentatonic sound for worship, for different stuff. So this is now using it with a synth sound, you know, and having all the sound. Yeah, you don't need it to run fast now. So first thing you run slow. Slowly. Then run fast. Then you run fast. You get so that's just the two techniques to apply. Slowly, slowly, there you go fast, there you go fast, you can even apply octaves, you can start from like us. Ready? If you're ready, let's go. So, so. Then slowly again. That is it for this particular one. So that is it for pentatonic scale and its application. So in part seven, I'll be showing you how to do some abstract things like this. So something like this. So don't forget to like and subscribe follow and subscribe i'm going to see you in part seven so now it's time for rehearsals are you ready practice time let's go
Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. Yeah.